What is up guys, it's your boy Solam here, back with another Classic WoW video for Season of Discovery. Now, today I want to talk some about something that I haven't talked about so far in Phase 2, and that is farming the reputation for the Waylid Supply Chests. That is called the Azeroth Commerce Authority for the Alliance, and the Durotar Logistics or something for the Horde, right? So, I want to talk about this reputation. I have farmed it to the Verd. There's only really one reason to farm to the Verd at the moment, but I think it's really important in Phase 2, and it's probably going to be a massive part of a lot of people's Phase 3 prep as well, to just have this rep good to go and I would be very surprised if there's not something cool coming at Exalted in either phase 3 or phase 4 so it's a pretty important reputation to have and I just wanted to farm this out last night and I found a really good location where I'm getting about 7,000 rep per hour while farming in that location you can get more than that and less than that kind of depending on RNG and also depending on competition but it's a pretty good place now right now when you're playing um, with the reputation you get like some rewards at friendly you get a bag for example 10 slot bag you can get your runes as well when you get the friendly at honor you get different uh, stuff here you have the sturdy courier bag a 12 slot bag as well for two gold you have the soul vessel schematic and you have the lesser arcane elixir schematic or recipe this one you have to be a word for so i grinded the reputation myself to get this exact recipe now there might be more recipes added later down the line, either at Honored, Revered or even Exalted when we get to like Phase 3 or Phase 4. So once again it's a pretty important reputation to just keep up to date with. And based on that I'm just going to show you the place that I was using to get to Exalted. Now, the boxes can drop from various locations, you can, do, you can do raids and get them in raids, you can do dungeons, get them from dungeons, kill mobs in the open world and get them that way, or do what I was doing and hunt for chests. So what I'm doing is basically finding a location with a lot of chest spawns in one place, and then farming mobs and looting chests at the same time. Chests have about a 33% chance to have a supply chest, a supply box, in my experience, so it's worth taking a look at the chest locations and just grind out chest locations. Now a couple of honorable mentions here would for example be Swamp of Sorrows. You have a bunch of chest locations up at this like follow sanctuary up in the Swamp of Sorrows. You actually have about, what is it, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 10 chests in one place, 11 chests that can spawn here in one place, and I think they are on three separate chest spawns, so there can be three chests up at the same place in this one location. It's a very good place to be if you just want to farm chests, plus there's a bunch of mobs here as well, and you can combine it with questing if you want to quest for gold, or if you want to level and quest at the same time. Alternatively, you can use a farm that I've uploaded as a video a couple of days ago, the Spider Cave in Dust Wallow. The Spider Cave in Dust Swallow has five different chest spawns, three inside and two outside, so you can farm the spiders and loot the chests on like a 10 minute interval. All of that being said, the zone that I was using last night was Hillsbad Foothills, and as you can see, there's a bunch of chest spawns in Hillsbad Foothills, and they are in different locations, and there's different chests for different factions. If you play Horde, for example, you can loot the chests at the Asherload Mine, or in the Hillsbad Fields. So you have a couple of chest locations over there as well that I can't grab as Alliance, because they're not open to us. You also have the chest spawns in the Yeti Cave all the way up here that you can grab, and I've made a map based on what I was farming last night. So looking at the Hillsbad map, we have a couple of different circles. Now I'm moving from the left circle all the way to the right. I'm starting on the left side and then moving all the way to the right, then moving back in a circular fashion. This way you can get every single chest when it's respawning. So you're starting at the Murloc Shore, now the left circle, like the left circle with one chest, is connected to the other circle on the left with four different chest spawns. So that one chest can spawn in five different locations, loot that one, then head to the other circle with four different chest spawns at the Murloc Shore as well. So just being at the Murloc Shore, you can loot two chests, then you move to the Null farm that you can see as well on the right hand side there, the right side 
side of the south shore. Now, there can be three chest spawns here, but only one will be up at a time. So that's chest number three. After that, run up to Durnhold Keep. Loot that chest as well, which can be in four different locations, but only one chest will be up at a time. And then loot that one. And now, make your way back to the Murloc Shore. Now, the chests have about a 10 minute respawn timer. And for me, doing this entire route without a mount takes me seven minutes. So in seven minutes, you can loot four chests and then come back to the starting location. And then you have three minutes of downtime to just kill mobs. And sometimes you get chests by killing mobs as well. In one hour, I got two chests, so two like um, waylaid supplies by killing mobs in the downtime. So in those three minutes of downtime, just don't AFK and just kill mobs, active, active downtime and hunt for supply boxes from killing mobs. Now, personally, I killed the murlocs at the murloc area while waiting for that chest to spawn. Now, if you're playing a horde, you can do the exact same thing that we are doing here, but you also have two more chests that you can grab. You have the one at the Astroload Mine, all the way down to the southwest, right? At the Murloc Shore, you have the Astroload Mine there. You can grab that chest as well, and you can then head north to the Hillsbrad Fields and grab that one. So being a horde here benefits you greatly, and you can get way more chest spawns than we can as Alliance. Alternatively, like if you're doing that and already running up to the Hillsbad fields, it might be worth entering the Yeti Cave and looking in there as well, because as you can see, there's four different chest spawns in the Yeti Cave. Now, if you don't want to use the route that I just made for you right there, download GatherMate 2 and GatherMate 2 Data. Now, those are two add-ons that I'm personally using, so GatherMate 2 and GatherMate 2 Data. This lets you import data from WoWhead, so I can see all the chests around the map, and I can basically just f find a place with chest spawns. Now, the thing is, if you are honored and you want to farm to the reward, you have to be in a level 25 plus zone, like a phase 2 zone, basically. So you want to farm chests in Hillsbad Hills, or you want to farm chests in like Stranglethorn Vale or something like that. In Stranglethorn Vale, you also have a bunch of chest spawns, or specifically up here, like northeast. You have four of them inside the cave, you have five of them outside the cave, and then you can go down to like this goblin area as well with five more chest spawns. So Stranglethorn Vale is also really good if you just want to farm chests, and also you can do quests in the downtime or kill mobs in the downtime. It's just a really good way to actually hunt the reputation here, and once again, hunt for chests, don't just go for mob grinding. I leveled all the way from level 30 to 40 by doing Skull of Monastery, and I found, we found like, what, 5 supplies in total as a 5-man group. That is like 1 supply box each. For 10 levels. I am also leveling my hunter right now, we have gone from level 25 to 35 by questing, and I have found a grand total of 3 waylaid supplies in 10 levels of questing. So I feel like the way to really get this reputation is by hunting chests. The chest gives you way more, and like I said, I got 7000 rep in one hour last night. That is about 9 boxes in one hour by farming chests. And that location, like the farm I just made, the route, it is absolutely incredible. You're hunting four different chest spawns in seven minutes and doing that on repeat. Alternatively, if you're horde, you can have six or seven chests as well in one loop. Either way, give it a try and let me know how it works out for you and let me know how, what your reputation standing is with the Azeroth Commerce Authority in the comments down below. I hope this video is able to help you out. If it, if it is, leave a like. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again very soon. Peace.